As you know, for the past many weeks, we've um, been exploring all options um, for, you know, for next steps on this year's property. Tonight, um, from a staff perspective, we feel there are essentially three discrete options um, for, you know, for paths forward. Um, one would be to re-RFP the property um, and open it up for a public process. Two would be to open negotiations with the other proposer um, who was not selected at the time of the original RFP. Um, and three would be to, um, to wait or you know, delay a little bit longer while, ex while discussions continue about a potential restructuring of, of the cinema deal. Um, we have been in discussion with local developers who have expressed interest in trying to assemble or put together uh, a different structure of the cinema deal. That those discussions have um, you know, been ongoing over the past couple weeks since since everyone learned that the deal would not move forward under the previous structure. And um, we believe that there is opportunity and there is interest and support that um, could could come together. So, um, you know, glad to answer questions. Obviously, it's still really early in the discussion process, but we feel that at this point, um, based on feedback that we received literally just today, that there is enough interest to justify um, waiting a bit longer and letting the partners um, put together a potential proposal that we could review in the future. And so, um, you know, from a staff perspective, I guess our, you know, uh, the administration would recommend that we you know, wait and um, allow a little bit extra time. It's, it's certainly frustrating because I think we all want to see a decision quickly, but given the kind of large uh, support for the theater, for the cinema proposal, we think it's, it's probably uh, worthwhile to make sure we've exhausted all um, potential avenues to see that come to fruition. Uh, we have, of course, you know, in, in the past determined uh, that uh, Yes, uh, the theater idea is uh, strategically a great fit for uh, for downtown, and it's been a priority. But it, of course, it's not our only option. Um, when you say uh, coming back in the future with um, uh, some detailed proposal, do you expect that to be like uh, within the next couple weeks? Yeah, great question. So I think um, you know, our next ED meeting is potentially on. 12.5, I think we could have another uh, another benchmark or update at that time. I don't think that a final proposal would be done um, necessarily before the holidays, but I do believe that it, it could be done very early in the spring and the timeline very early in January and the timeline would be to begin, you know, begin construction in spring and be open in early 2019, depend, you know, if, if, it's, if it's a reality. Mr. Peckham. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, just wondering if this recommendation is coming strictly from community development or uh, both ends of the hallway upstairs if the mayor is um, singing in the same choir. Oh, well, we don't do anything without the other end of the hallway as well. But yes, I mean, obviously the administration is working uh, working um, this these discussions. Now, of course, uh, there's some confidential information related to what Mr. Schock has talked about. Uh, I guess some of that could be shared in closed session if it was deemed desirable by the committee to go into closed session for further detail or let staff just continue on their the process that they're on and um, deal with this at our regular, next regular meeting. Thoughts from the committee? Yes, I have a couple of questions. Um, the first question, I guess, just to paraphrase, if we are considering at least a, um, uh, amended version of the theater proposal perhaps with different partners do we have any assurance from Rialto that this go-round will be any different in terms of outcome than the last because if we assuming that a new local development partner gains MICON as a partner and, and and there's a trust between them we know that there's a serious fractured trust between MICON and the mall can they clear those hurdles I mean, other than even recapitalizing the project? Is that relationship so damaged that it cannot be repaired? Or is there some positive feedback coming back now from WASA Center perhaps that they know that they have 
overplayed the first round of this process? So um, I believe that the, you know, um, just to reiterate what we've updated in the past, as you know, is that many of the actual items uh, of that were a roadblock have been negotiated and have been determined. Um, it arguably took too long for the partners in the initial proposal, um, but we believe that it is now at a point where it is actionable. So I think to, the short answer is yes. I think that there's a, an opportunity and enough, you know, dialogue to, to move it forward without without um, any other or any larger issues associated with them all. Okay. Question number two is, um, you know, obviously I think it's no secret that the second proposal that we did not choose two years ago was um, home furniture. We agreed at that time as a result of that first RFP that what we had in front of us was two projects, both of which um, we viewed favorably. So I think before we would, at least in my personal opinion, before we would go back and lay out another RFP, if a deal could not be reached between Mike Con Rialto and a, and a new partner, I would certainly like to know what Homs for Hom Furniture's interest level is in the property still before we would re-RFP the parcel. Have you had any dialogue with Hom after this first failure? Yeah, we, we have had some dialogue. Um, I believe that there could be opportunities there. Um, we also don't want to, um, you know, to move too far or to lead anyone on because we are still trying to, um, you know, to, to make the cinema deal practical if it's possible. Well, certainly you don't want to, I guess, disappoint them a second time, but so you have had some conversation with them and, and the interest may remain, is that? Correct. Okay. I guess I'd be interested in what everyone else thinks about holding off on an RFP. I think that might be premature if there's moving parts yet. Ms. Evans. Um, my question is, are we, have we completed all the review on that property for contamination for the ground and everything else? We've met all those requirements, so it's good to go if we move forward with uh, any type of business, sure. it be a theater or whatever. Yeah, good, good question. Um, we, it's, uh, we know we completed the testing and the, um, you know, the, the phase one and phase two processes. So. Any proposer or anyone who's going to use that property would receive that information. Um, we've not done the remediation that was highlighted as required, but we also feel that it's a relatively minor amount of remediation, and any user could accomplish that without much problem. Okay, and my uh, follow up on that as well. Um, regarding the um, the time that we have, if we would do an RFP, is there like a time that we're looking for? I know you brought up that hopefully by spring we would have some type of, but is there a time that we have to meet? Otherwise, do we have to start all over again? Or, or <coughs> I don't think there's any mandatory times um, per se. I think obviously the administration is very concerned about trying to get the property repositioned as fast as possible. Um, you know, and this process has been you know, longer and more drawn out than anyone you know, would, would hope. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, we do believe that after the investment of time and, and the legal structuring that we've gone through already to negotiate with the mall, that you know, we've already invested all this. Um, MyCon is still committed to look at the Wausau market. Um, it's you know it really then becomes an opportunity to look at that structuring and get the deal done a, a, a different way and I, I think that's possible um, I just think the parties perhaps need a little bit more time to do that um, and come up with a very tangible proposal okay. okay and I have one more um, you know um, I've heard through the grapevine that uh, Bonton is very <coughs> seriously um, trying to um, close some of their stores and that Yonkers would be one of them here. Has there been any further discussion on that or have we heard anything further on that? No, you know, we have not heard anything. Um, we saw just the same information that many of the public has that Bonton corporately would close stores. They haven't determined which stores would be closed or they haven't announced which stores will be closed. So we don't know. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Peckman. I would move that we uh, direct staff to continue to work with the local uh, developer potential and bring us some good news in one month. Right, so 
so that's or in our next order. regular scheduled meeting, which would be or at the earliest opportunity. The earliest. Though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll second that, and I'm. Well, it's only going to say that I'm glad to hear both proposals are still available. It's, I think it's. A, I think we need to wait, just as uh, as our motion has been stated, and not pursue that any further because we would be kind of guessing uh, right. to discuss it. Okay, uh, Ms. Rasmussen. Thank you. Um, I guess my only added comment would be is as this deal starts to restructure, you know, we know that the concept remains the same. Um, we don't know what the investment or the fund stack looks like um, once the players at the table start to shift. Obviously, we had um, agreed to commit the property, but we also had agreed to uh, participate with some development funding and, and reverse it. So if the structure of that deal starts to change away from what we had originally approved, um, I'd like them to come in and represent and, and do a new public ask so that people can see what exactly we're being asked to commit to with this go-round. I mean, we know that now if we can work with them all a little bit easier, the reality is is that <coughs> the foot traffic in the mall, the mall needed help last year. And you know, I found it stunning that this couldn't come together you know, in negotiation with them. So if we've overcome that hurdle and you know, we need to entertain you know, either the same, same parameters or a new ask, I think as a committee, we would want to hear about that. And, and sooner than later, and you know, we, we certainly don't want to own Sears and keep it off the tax rolls any longer than we absolutely have to. I think all of our um, peers on council share that view. The sooner we can get that building repurposed to a higher and better use, the better. But there's also no reason to take or, or skip over a deal that's, you know, we don't want to take a deal that's subpar, but we also don't want to miss an opportunity. So, you know, I, I agree that we should hold off for now on a re-RFP and see what we can pull together. And I, at that time, would also appreciate uh, from staff sort of a, a qualitative, quantitative uh, statement on you know the the relative merits of a new um, offer uh, versus the one that we had originally approved. Uh, is this a step forward, a step back? Is it better or not as good? That kind of thing. So um, it, it's easier for us and for the public to to understand just what we're we're looking at. Well, true and if it requires a greater investment we also then would be seeking public feedback as well as far as you know their continued um, interest in the project you know even if the investment is you know more or less I think that's you know one thing that we'd want to wait because we know we had very strong public support for the project in its original structure if that framework is changing we want we need to know if public interest is also shifting very good is the committee uh uh, happy with where we are at this point with the uh, the stated motion and second and see no need to go into closed session if that's the case I would uh, ask that all in favor of the motion say aye aye, aye. opposed none are opposed thank you